here's a wild card of certain extent uh mozzie smith defensive tackle who's only played a couple of games that this guy may hold the key to the defense's success yeah i i think he might and uh you know this is uh he's up to 326 he was uh right around i think 310 maybe last season 306 or something like that so he's gained some more weight um and jim harbaugh described him as a power pack i think was the term exactly but uh, Michigan has been thin on the defensive line uh, for the last couple of years, especially on the interior. They've had some good defensive end play. Obviously, Quiddy Pay was a first-round pick last year. You have a you know preseason first-team All-American and Aiden Hutchinson now at kind of that edge rusher spot, but they've lacked in the middle. Now they switch to a three-four defense, which, as we know, an, you know, an odd front, a nose guard is going to be extremely crucial, even more important than it was in the past when they struggled. Uh, so Mozzie Smith has to get up to speed. All the guys are raving about him. Josh Ross, uh, the fifth-year senior linebacker at Big Ten Media Days, was asked, you know, who's the guy that stood out the most this offseason? He said, Mozzie Smith, Mozzie Smith, Mozzie Smith, emphatically, um, which I think is some high praise. Mike McDonald said the same thing. He's going to take that next step this year, and they need him to. Um, you know, admittedly, Jim Harbaugh said they were looking for more size on the interior of the defensive line. That's why they went out and got – Oregon State transfer Jordan Whitley, and I'm, I'm not sure how much he'll be able to contribute coming off some health issues last season. So it's it's important. They know it's important that Mozzie Smith, oh, you know, or Donovan Jeter or somebody on that interior really solidifies himself. Uh, Mozzie Smith's a guy who was highly touted out of high school. He has the talent in him, so I think he's the guy. He's probably the most ideal guy that you want to step up in that position. And you know, if, if they don't get consistent production out of that nose guard spot. The Wisconsin's, the Ohio State's, they're going to run the ball down Michigan's throat like we've seen it the last couple of years. So uh, it's its imperative. We talk about how important offensive line play is. If you're going to play this style of defense, so is uh, interior defensive line play. you got to be able to plug holes, and you got to be able to kind of you know get some penetration in the backfield. Folks, we appreciate uh, the like. Smash that like button. Please uh, share these videos out on social media and subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football. We also appreciate uh, Clayton Safey, who joins us on a regular basis to break down Michigan football, maize and blue, just uh, less than three weeks away from action, depending on uh, when this airs here in the next few days, uh, coming up against uh, Western Michigan. And Clayton, what Michigan fans are waiting to hear about during fall practice is that there are guys in the secondary that are stepping up and learning and getting better and developing. So RJ Moten at safety and DJ Turner at corner seem to be those guys. Yeah, I would circle them as guys that are emerging in that secondary. Um, so it, it was kind of no secret coming out of spring ball that Jamon Green, uh, the fourth-year guy, will be a starting corner most likely. There's still going to be competition there. Um, but he's kind of solidified himself and separated himself. Vincent Gray, who started every game last season, struggled a bit at times. Uh, if you recall back in the Michigan State game, the Indiana game, um, you know, early on in the season especially – uh, he is in a battle right now with DJ Turner, third-year uh, player from Georgia who hasn't played a whole lot in his career. He came in at one point during the Michigan State game for, I think, one series uh, when Vince Gray had his confidence shot just a little bit with all those uh, you know jump balls that Michigan State was able to win during that game. Um, but we haven't seen a whole lot of him. He has really emerged, and, and we think he's in front right now uh, in the front runner to win that second corner job. So keep an eye on him. And then when you look at the safeties, that, that's a spot where Michigan is really, really talented uh, with Dax Hill and with Brad Hawkins. But there hasn't been a ton of depth the last couple of years at that spot. Uh, but you're starting to kind of see that emerge. R.J. Moten uh, is a supreme athlete. I really liked him coming out of high school in the 2020 class. He was originally going to possibly play baseball at Michigan. So he's kind of that type of athlete. Uh, he's gotten a lot bigger. Uh, you see in some of the videos they're putting out, he's he's really, really built right now. Uh, so I think that he's that kind of third safety that you would bring in um, to play the free safety spot when De uh, when you go to a nickel and then move Dax Hill over to the nickel because we've kind of seen them experiment a little bit with him covering some of the better receivers on the opposing roster uh, when, it, when you go to certain matchups. So uh, he's another name to watch in that secondary, and it's huge. Uh, that Michigan's starting to get some depth uh, developing there. And it, it'll be interesting to see who comes out of fall camp because there is a lot of talent there. We get questions on 
our message board almost on the daily. What are you hearing about this guy? What are you hearing about that guy? It's like, well, there's, you know, there's some guys right now that, that are pretty young, but uh, you know, and, and talented. And I think have bright futures like, like uh, Darian Green Warren, uh, for example, who was a really high four star a couple of years ago, but uh, and he, he's at the corner spot. But I think that there are some names right now in some of the third and fourth year guys that are emerging, uh, which is something you just didn't see last season. So it's a it's a bright spot.